All right, personal finance class, we're going to work on Math Concept 1 for Chapter 11 today. So Math Concept 1 is all about approximating interest charges on credit card purchases. So uh, let's work through this. And again, I'll, I'll, I'll say again that this is about approximating. Um, credit card companies actually do it slightly differently. The way we're going to go through this, and of course, I'll show you step by step, but uh, we're going to take your interest rate and then we're going to do what's called compound it. And we're going to compound it monthly to figure out how much the interest charges are going to be on purchases. Now, credit card companies differ in that they actually compound interest daily. Um, that'll make more sense when we look at the math, but this is a good way to approximate. And it's, it's pretty close, very close actually, um, to what you're actually going to pay in interest. So let's take a look at the example here. So basically what you're going to do is take your interest rate and you're going to divide it by 12. So let's see right here. So if you take your interest rate, so in this example, uh, let's assume you have $1,000 on your credit card uh, and you have an annual rate of 18% approximately. How much should your month's interest charge be on that $1,000 balance? We're going to calculate that by taking your 18% uh, or 0.18 in the example here, divide it by 12, which is of course the, the number of months in a year. Um, that'll give you your um, monthly rate and you multiply that by your balance and that will give you your estimated finance charge, in this case $15. So let's go ahead and look at sheets and do that example out. So we got a thousand dollars, eighteen percent. Okay. So let's see. This is our example. So there's two ways you can do this. You can either type in. Well, actually, there's. I guess there's three ways, maybe even more. So you can take your eighteen, and then you can click on your format as percent button up here and actually that's not right so 18 you can type in percent or you can type in 0.18 and just don't convert it into a percentage and that'll the math will work out this way um, so we have a thousand dollars so 18 that's our uh, APR that's our APR um, again, you can do it one or the other. You don't have to do it both ways, of course. I'm just showing you the way to do it correctly, whichever way you decide to do it. You can do 18 and type in a percent sign, or you can do 0.18, and it'll the math will work out. So $1,000 is our credit card balance. of course 12 months in a year so what we need to do is take your APR divide it by 12 and that gives you your monthly rate or your monthly compounding rate if you want to be technical about it and then you take your monthly rate, multiply that times your balance. And that is your monthly interest charge. So it's that simple. So that's how you're going to do all these problems. It's going to give you a different um, APR. It's going to give you a different balance. And then you're really just going to divide them by 12, figure out your monthly rate, and figure out your monthly interest charge. Um, and again, you can take this. And you can copy and paste. And then you can just take that. So I'll call this number one, and then of course just change your APR and your balance, 
and then the mesh should work out. You can just copy paste, um, you know, work smarter, not harder. You don't have to retype everything. So go ahead and work through that. Uh, this is a pretty simple math exercise. If you have problems, um, shoot me an email. I can work you through it. Um, but otherwise, good luck. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.